What's good, team? Mr. Kwan, it's your girl, Mr. G. And it's your boy Kwan, it's together one, unstoppable. And unbreakable. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back, y'all. So today we're going to be doing our monthly Q&A. You guys know that we like to do this every single month, at least once a month. And we get all of our questions from you guys on our Instagram, so make sure you're following the both of us right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna hop right into it. All right, let's get it. Would y'all ever do OnlyFans? Heck yeah. We already have OnlyFans. <laughs> you know what they're trying to ask, though. Oh, spicy. Spicy OnlyFans. I know that's what they imply when they ask that because we already have OnlyFans, but yeah. we was just like uploading exclusive content, not meaning like it's adult like content, just <laughs> yeah. content that we wouldn't post on YouTube. Facts. So, uh, well, I would never be doing spicy things nah. on OnlyFans. That's just not me personally. That's not me either. I might get a little frisky. Like maybe I'll post like a little photo I wouldn't post on my IG or something like that, but yeah. not like. But us like wilding out on nah. OnlyFans, nah. <laughs> It's not us. <laughs> nah, we're parents. And we just not like that, nah. Yeah. We respect ourselves to not do that. Yeah, I just, I, I couldn't. I don't know, like, I just couldn't. <laughs> would you guys ever buy property outside of the US? I absolutely would, and you know exactly where we would, right? Definitely, I would where? say Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica? Where are you thinking? I was gonna say Dubai. Oh, Dubai, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking Dubai <laughs> That's what I was too. thinking. I'm like, oh, there's no taxes over yeah. there. They have beautiful homes, and out in Dubai just feels like a whole nother world. But Quan was looking at properties in Jamaica. Now, Jamaica is building up nicely. Yeah, he came across this beautiful property like, in the mountains or something mm -hmm. like that. I, I would like, definitely hey. like to purchase like a penthouse or like a crib in Jamaica mm -hmm. for like when we go to visit and stuff. That would okay. be dope. That would be dope. Yeah. yeah. But Dubai too. Okay. Dubai is fire. Do people sometimes hit on Rissa? If so, how do you deal with this Quan? <laughs> hey, Honestly, I mean, no. If y'all yeah. like asking if people try to hit on Rissa in public, like while we're together, no, no one's, one's ever, ever played with me like that. <laughs> I was gonna say, no one's ever did that ever. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever played with me like that. That's crazy. But as far as like on social media, if somebody's trying to holler at Rissa, like, okay. I mean, yeah, Rissa ignores them and it's just like, yeah. you know, I okay, ain't gotta say nothing. But how would you deal with it in person if that was to happen? Oh, I mean. What would you do? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like ultimate disrespect. Like, yeah, you're right always there. together. I'm right there. Like, bro, and somebody trying to talk to you, then yeah, I'm gonna get tight. And like, you know, I'm definitely going. I feel like Quan would just be like, yeah, just rough bro. him up. Yeah, yeah I was, like, just, I was up. probably rough him up. Yeah. You know, that's I would okay. handle it mature, very right? like grown and mature. But like, if things get out of hand, then so be it. You know. <laughs> You know, I'm on time, man. Let's just it. hope that don't happen ever. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's hope nobody's that stupid. When will the boys start sleeping in their own room? <laughs> this I really, while. yeah, I don't know. We both prefer them to just be in our room. At least Shine is sleeping in his own bed now, so that's a plus. We definitely get better sleep. Savy's still co-sleeping with us, but as far as them being in their own room, like, nah, they're too small. Yeah, they're too little. Probably like around four. I would say four. Like three, four. I don't even know. Yeah, you I might feel comfortable enough to allow them to just be in their own. Yeah, like around three, four. Because yeah. when Sean's full, say it'll be three, they'll be like. But I still, I think I would age. want them to sleep together in their room. Like they don't need to be sleeping in separate rooms. Sometimes yeah, it's no, good for them to be like in a room together. Yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. Like when Sean yeah. is like four and Savy's like three, they can have like their own room. Yeah. I will like most good. likely put them in a room closest to us. Facts, we'll switch just up. Just in case anything goes down. The oh, rooms in the house. They need us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts. I feel like it's good for siblings to like sleep in a room together sometimes. I don't know, I feel like that bond is just tight yeah. as you're going together, right? Yeah, it's definitely so good. tight as your bond with your sibling. Yeah, like me and Chris shared a room at one point and we're a boy and a girl. Sometimes people don't like to do that, but I don't know, this man is so close. Yeah, but kids that is, they, they don't care. They shouldn't have two separate rooms. That's like too much. Yeah, that's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest challenge you guys have faced as a YouTuber? couple the biggest challenge was i was saying the beginning the biggest like challenge was in the beginning where we were trying to oh, grow grow on youtube i think that was the yeah. biggest challenge because it was tough like it's not easy yeah to like grow a fan base and to learn everything and just like you know you're kind of just going into it blind and then you gotta like learn the ropes yeah. no one's helping you so you're just like kind of trying to figure it out on your own type of thing mm -hmm. and yeah that was hard actually we were posting a lot and we felt like our views weren't like doing as we expected them to mm -hmm. and it gets kind of discouraging well, some people would get to that point where they're like damn like is this worth doing and then you're yeah. contemplating like if i should continue or i should stop so like that's like the toughest part of like doing youtube we believe in ourselves so you know yeah we just pushed through i don't know i feel like we always believe in ourselves but like Juan said like with what we do there comes times where like things could just be like a little stagnant and maybe you're not growing at the pace you feel like you deserve or like yeah. things like that. So stuff just starts to play in your head, but you just have to keep going with what we do. Yeah, you get a and few roadblocks in a way, but yeah, every time you, know, you push through and then good things happen. Facts. 
What are your guys' upcoming home projects for this year? We really, really want to start on that closet. Yes, we need a closet. Need a closet. Really bad. I mean, we have closets in the house, but we literally took up like every single closet nah, because we, we have too much stuff. Huge we need closet. a huge, we beautiful, need a beautiful, large walk-in walk -in closet. Yeah, so that's like one of the main ones that we really want to start this year. But also, um, we want to finish the backyard. So we got to finish doing landscaping around the pool, and then we also fence. want to put up a fence. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we closet, knocked down a lot last year. Yeah, an offense. But there's actually one thing that like popped up in my head the other day because what? you guys saw how like Quan got into that little accident. I'm like, I wonder if we should just invest in heating our driveway. It's kind mm. of expensive, but like it might be worth it. Nah, no? our plow guy just need to do his job. <laughs> that's about it. I think he still nah, has an answer. By I'll, the way. I'll, yeah, I don't think that's necessary. Because they say maybe, it helps. maybe we should probably put like a gate. A big, huge gate at the end of our driveway. Yeah, yeah. like opens up when you come. You're like going to the yeah. grand. <laughs> we were <laughs> thinking about that. Yeah, that would be cool. That's not something we need though. Like, we don't need it, but something like that would be cool. But the main one this Maybe. year, closet. Closet. That's yeah. the big one. Who loves having spicy time more in a relationship? Who loves it more? <laughs> Who loves it more? That was like a weird question. Who loves it more? Um, if they're trying to say like... <laughs> who enjoys it more? Or like who's always in the mood more, it would be you. I'm always in the mood more. But I feel like we both but, enjoy yeah, it. Of course, we both enjoy it. So yeah, we equally enjoy it. Yeah, it should be like that. I feel like if one person is constantly always enjoying it more, that's not fair. Yeah, that right? means the other person is not doing their job. So. Yeah, or something's off. Like That's crazy. Yeah. I think we both equally enjoy it, you guys. But if you want to know who's always in the mood more times than not, <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, look at my fiance. I can't help myself. Are you guys still building on the land you purchased? We're going to keep this very short and sweet? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. That's all we're going to say. Yes. <laughs> who was interested in who first? And did you guys think you'd be here years later with kids? Who was interested in who first? I was interested first, of course. You I write like it down. Well, yeah, Quan approached me, but do you feel like you noticed me first? I feel like I noticed you first. Really? And I was, I was like, oh damn, he looks good. Yeah, because seriously, Quan is just oh, like that snap. person. I didn't know that. Yeah, because <laughs> you're like center of attention. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I noticed you just like partying. Why well, had my shirt? He had his shirt so. off, so like it was hard not to notice him. Yeah. So I think I noticed you first, but you ran down, so I just. Yeah, I don't know. I was a little tipsy that night, so. I don't <laughs> he was know. I was, just, <laughs> just walking around. I peeped first. I was like, nah, I need to slide up on that. <laughs> yeah, I ran down, so. Did you think we'd I would be here say, with kids years later? Uh, I feel like I did. From like when? <laughs> Not that, that first, first night. No. Yeah, that first night. <laughs> I didn't I see mean, you be like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be my baby daddy. Yeah, <laughs> like, nah, definitely seen us like having a future, family. Right? Yeah. Together. Definitely seen us having a future together. Yeah. yeah for sure. I don't know. I feel like you when you have the one, you just know. Yeah. I just feel like I always knew. I'm like, Me nah, too. I could tell that we're gonna have longevity. And like, this is this is my person. I knew you would be a great mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you, baby. I felt the same with you, like, especially seeing Quan with other kids, like, in his family or, like, my family. I'm like, oh, yeah, he loves kids. He'll be a great dad one day. Yeah, so wait, you would say that you was interested first? I think I was interested first because I think I, I noticed you first. Oh, wow. So, like, was I looking at you when you noticed me or I was like... You ended up looking at me, yeah. And then uh, later on, you know, a little while later, and that's when you pulled okay, up and I was like, okay. oh, shit. It's not okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that's crazy. I thought I was interested first. Just learned something new today. <laughs> Whatever happened to you guys throwing an engagement party? <laughs> we should have did that though. I don't know. I would have really loved to do that. I don't that. know it's why. Too late now. We just didn't plan it, and like life was just life and life and like life it was moving life. fast. And I just feel like it's way too late now. Like it's going on the second year of being engaged. I'm, it'll be two years this year, right? Being yeah. Engaged? It's it's too late. It's now. too late. Like that's dragging. We were just focused on Matt, other things. And yeah. I was just so happy, like just being engaged and just being in that honeymoon phase of engagement that we were just on a high so we yeah. were just like we'll just enjoy it and then Rissa got pregnant again and it yeah, was a lot yeah. there was a lot going on yeah exactly. that would have been fire though you guys know we would have threw a crazy we would have threw the craziest bashment party ever like y'all okay. already know we would have went off we'll but put that energy into yeah there's more to come there's more to come <laughs> we definitely got to throw like a party party one day Thanks. is there any content creators slash couples that you guys really don't no. Absolutely not. Yeah, like we have no problems with anybody. I don't know why people always speculate in things yeah. or think that we really just don't like certain people. Like it's crazy. there's nobody that we strongly dislike. Heck no, I have no hate in my heart towards anybody. And I literally mean that. And I feel like Quan and I are actually people that we've literally like helped so many people and we want to see so many people do well. Exactly. And we're not selfish people at all. And so no, absolutely not. Yeah, and when you like in a happy place in life, you don't 
have any negativity towards anyone. Like, mm -hmm. we're happy in life, so we don't have no problems with nobody. Yeah, we're not we people dislike that, nobody. we don't dislike people, but we also don't like, I don't know how to word it, but we don't really care what other people yeah. are doing. <laughs> we just focus like, on ourselves. Like, to say that in like the nicest way, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, we happy for those that's putting on, doing their thing just like us. Exactly. It's as simple as that. Everyone has their own blessings. Yeah. Was the counseling skit real? After the video, I'm nervous you guys might call it quits. Oh, that <laughs> so, we did with the kids? Yeah, they're talking about so that wasn't, the counseling. That wasn't a skit. No, like, it wasn't. That deadass wasn't a skit. I know it was like very different from the type of content that we typically yeah. do. I think people couldn't tell if we were being real or like if we were making up scenarios, but those were real scenarios real. that we real. argue about. They were real scenarios. It was kind of humorous and like it was playful because we were doing it with her younger yeah. siblings, but we are actually sharing real problems that we have in our relationship yeah, those are with the kids and they was giving us their honest advice like yeah that was like for real, for real. It, it wasn't a skit it wasn't like scripted or anything yeah. like that that was 100 we just real. didn't want to be too serious with the kids because they're kids you yeah. know and we just wanted them to have raw honest opinions on it you know yeah but yeah no those are things that we actually that was 100 real <laughs> those are things that we actually but they have said problems with. they're nervous that we might call it quits after that oh listen nah. guys that is like nah we already talked about a lot of those issues yeah we already found some Solutions to a lot and I feel of like issues. those are things that a lot of people in relationships go through. Like, there's different seasons of life. If you're gonna be with someone for a lifetime, you are gonna face arguments and things that you have to hurdle over together. You know, like. And sometimes you're gonna have to agree to disagree. So, like, mm -hmm. a lot of the situations or issues that we brought up to the kids, we agree to disagree on those things because yeah. we just we can't see eye to eye. We can't see eye to eye with it. Yeah, we have difference. <laughs> In opinion. and opinions when it comes to certain things, but I mean, that's okay. But Everybody's yeah, different. Yeah, and it's not that serious. It's not to a point where it's like, oh, I'm Yeah, hate we can't myself. work out because I don't agree with her yeah. or she doesn't agree with me. Nah. You shouldn't be a yes man to your partner, I feel like. Like, you yeah. still need to have your own thought process, your own mind, your own opinion, and it is what it is. Hey, we all It was nothing it. that serious to where we're like, oh my gosh, I can't deal with this anymore. It's yeah, just little nah. things, little bumps in the road. You know? Everybody got their issues. No relationship is perfect. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, we was just being very raw and real with y'all. Who would you say enjoys cooking the most? You're probably asking this because we've been cooking so much together now. I would say me right now because yeah. like I'm just now learning, so I'm it's not like excited new to about it. So yeah. it's something new and exciting for him. I've been cooking for years, but I would say I feel like I've gotten more excited to cook again because it's something. We've been doing it together. Yeah, we're doing it together, so it's been a lot of fun for us. But also, we're finally making like new meals. I've been wanting to do this for years. Yeah. I've been telling Juan this. I'm like, I'm tired of cooking the same thing. Well, all what the did time. I say? I told you like yo, I'm gonna get in the kitchen and I'm gonna learn. Yeah, and that's and I what I did. I thought he was talking out his butt because you guys remember the reason <laughs> he started cooking in the first place, right? Yeah. To try and prove a point. Well, <laughs> I ended up doing it and now we're cooking together and we've been enjoying it. We've been having a lot of fun with it. It's like a it's different like nice. kind of bonding for us now. Like yeah. it's different bonding time with us. It's like a different sort of intimacy for us. Like yeah, we've definitely nice. been like bonding a lot through cooking. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to see the meals that we've been cooking or see us cook together, yeah, you should definitely follow us on Snapchat. Yeah. We post like tutorials. Post step meals. by step. Yeah, step by step we post how to make the meal and then we post the end results. So make sure you guys follow mm -hmm. us on Snapchat. Yeah, you guys have really been enjoying us doing that over there. Yeah. But yeah, I think that right now Quan probably enjoys cooking more. Yeah, right now me. <laughs> yeah. What advice would you guys give us on building a business with very limited funds? I would say use social media to your advantage. Yeah, so just like when we first started, we we're in college, we were broke, we didn't have no money, mm -hmm. and we built ourselves up off of social media. You have to take advantage of social media. I know, it sounds so... Marketing, marketing, cliche. marketing. It's you don't true. need money to market yourself, mm -hmm. believe it or not. You believe in yourself, you keep posting consistently and just putting your stuff out there, putting your face out there, or whatever yeah. it is, your business, so whatever that people can't forget do. about it. Yeah, whatever you're trying to do, whether you're trying to sell something, whether you're trying to be a public figure, do YouTube, you just have to market yourself the right way. Exactly. And it's as simple as that. That's you don't literally need money to do that. All it comes down to. Everything happens gradually. gradually. It takes time. Yeah. But a lot of people get the misconception that you need money to be successful or you need money I to mean, like fund a business when you don't in some cases, yeah, but not yeah. necessarily. It's because it really just depends on probably what you're doing, you know, your background, things like that. Obviously someone that has money might have more of an advantage for certain things. True. But you don't need money to start up. When we first got our first camera for YouTube too, we literally put it on a credit card. We yeah. didn't have no money for that. We couldn't even afford that so I camera. I forgot to mention that. Technically, yeah. it was really expensive for us at the time, but we just took a leap of faith and bought our first camera and it was history after that. So you just gotta believe yep. in yourself and market. 
There you go. This is a question I don't think you guys ever asked us. <laughs> Who suggested moving in together when you guys were dating? Marissa. Yeah. I did. I was living all on my own. You had a roommate. Yes. I was living off campus, so. All right, so I got into an incident while in college which resulted in me getting kicked off of campus. So I had to you like- couldn't live find an apartment <laughs> on college off. grounds anymore. <laughs> yeah, I had to find an apartment <laughs> off of campus. Yeah. And yeah, I was like living in a one bedroom apartment by myself. But it was, wasn't really the was best tough. apartment. It was like- Ran down. Ran down. And Quan actually- It was actually, a hood, ran down. It was a hood. Quan really hated being there, honestly. He ended up being at my place literally all the time anyway. I was spending the night And he was spending the night all the time. So I'm like, bro, why are you paying rent? <laughs> <laughs> for that little dinky apartment, you might as well just move in here and we split right here. And that's what we ended up doing, so yeah. yeah. Obviously, I wanted him to live with me too, yeah. but. I wanted to live with you. I was tired of living with <laughs> I feel like you wanted to, but you didn't want to say that. Cause yeah. he still wanted his own, you know, but like, I was like, babe. Nah, no, it was tough, sense. it was tough. Like, just being on your own, and that was my first time ever on my own, on my own. Even when I was dormant, I had, had a roommate. roommate. Yeah. yeah, so that was my first time on my own, on my own. And it was just like weird. I don't think you liked it. It was a lot of responsibility, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, with yeah. us like being at my place, you know, I was cooking, we could study together, yeah. and he was sleeping over anyway, so it just made sense to me. But yeah. Yeah. And ever since then, we've and my been place was way more since. comfortable and nice. Yeah, that too. Oh yeah. my god. What's the most surprising thing you've learned about each other over the years through making videos? <laughs> I know something I learned about you. I learned something about you too. Really? What? I learned that you a chatterbox. <laughs> I never knew that Rissa like actually talked that much. Like, <laughs> Once we started filming and making videos, <laughs> I was like, damn, my girl is a chatterbox. <laughs> like, I did not know that you could like talk that much. Rissa could literally just talk about anything and like go on and on I about it. I got a lot to talk about. Yeah, I'm very straightforward. I don't really talk much. Yeah, short and sweet. Okay, so what I learned about you is that you're actually kind of camera shy. <laughs> I definitely am. You've got a way better, way more Still to this day, I'm still camera shy. But like, I don't know if it's considered camera shy, but like there's times where like Quan will pick up the camera and he just can't get his thoughts together and he's stuttering. Yeah, like we obviously up. cut those parts out, but I'll be sitting there like, babe, get it together. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because it's like, again, I'm not a big talker. I'm very quiet. I'm a quiet person. I just don't really chat that much. Picking up the camera, I will say whatever I'm thinking, but then I don't know how to drag it out to like really be thoroughly <laughs> explaining what's going on. So yeah, Quan's like, like short and sweet to yeah, the point. It was something that I had to learn throughout the years doing YouTube. I think it's helped you like express yourself more. Learn yeah. how to communicate better, kind of like talk, you know? Because yeah. yeah, you were definitely <laughs> like that. <laughs> wow, you learned how much chatty yeah. work. So now I'm chatty patty. Been in chatty patty, but exactly. I was gonna say, there's been many times where I'm just sitting there chatting. Yeah, and but like... <laughs> it became OD after YouTube. You really started chatting a lot. Wow, babe. <laughs> Would you guys ever get any pets? You know I want no pets. Quan wants no pets. I don't want no pets. But I don't know. I feel like if my kids come to me one day and they're like, "Mommy, I really want a fish," I'll get them a fish. A fish. No hesitation. Tell them. Nope. Oh, a fish. <laughs> yeah. A fish. I mean, nah. But even fishes be wild. Like you gotta consistently feed them. Some of them be like jumping the up tank. the tank and offing themselves. <laughs> yeah, like we had a fish. My parents had fishes. And one of the fishes jumped out the tank and just offed itself. Yeah, well, so I mean, a fish. Pets, like, yo, pets are just a lot to keep up with. I'm not really a fan of pets. Definitely don't want no dog or no cat or nothing like that. Yeah. That's what y'all are asking. Never messy. <laughs> And yeah. we already got kids. And that'll be another responsibility yeah. to take on. I just, just don't see us as a pet family, really. Nah. But I would do a fish, though. Maybe a fish. Do you guys ever look down on people? I can't believe somebody just asked us that. Never. We ever. never look down on anybody. We never look down on anybody because one day you could be the underdog, one day you could have nothing, and then the next day you could have everything. And one day you could have everything, next day you could have nothing like you can be stripped away exactly. from you at any given time so you don't take anything for granted stay home don't ever look down on anybody you know it could be you the same like, person you're looking down on could surpass you exactly you yeah. know how come you guys don't go out as much and party <laughs> mm, i mean we just not really into the party scene like that no more yeah like when we first met we used to party a lot because we were still in college but i feel like after college we kind of like grew out of that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, we jumped into our careers pretty while we were in college. So after yeah. college, we were like really busy working. We just had more responsibilities. So I feel like we didn't have time to party. But also we just realized that doing that 
constantly or going out on a weekly basis, say you go out every single weekend, too much. you're spending a lot of money and wasting money and you're just like drinking and it's bad for your health. And it's very dangerous. It can be dangerous. You're like putting yourself out there it's for just something not bad to happen. We realize it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth the headache. Much. It's not worth staying up mad late. Losing sleep. <laughs> yeah, losing sleep and just going out and risking your life every time you go out. It's not worth it. Occasionally. Yeah, here and there, yes. Yeah, here and there we'll go out and party. We're not against partying, of course. No, like, we love to party. We love to party. We love to have fun. But, but I feel like you have to do it occasionally, like yeah. here and there. I don't know. I feel doing like that like every week weekend it's kind of wild unless that's like your job or you get paid to do that right yeah I, I personally couldn't party that much like I'm over it I feel like <laughs> I'm too grown for that yeah we just don't have the same time either like we're parents yeah. now you know also I want you guys to try something try going to a party party like a lit party without getting lit don't drink any alcohol <laughs> be sober the whole time yeah don't put any substance in your body just go there completely sober and tell me if you enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah, you. a lot of times you will realize, like, yo, this is not that much fun. <laughs> it's not. It really don't be that fun. <laughs> We've done honestly. that a few times. We're like, bro, this is not fun. Like, I'd rather Sometimes it's vibes, but, like, the majority of the time, it's just like, you get over it quick. It gets boring quick. Yeah, pretty so much. So that's why we don't party like that no more. Yeah, and I feel like when you have time off from partying, when you go out, you'll kind of enjoy it more. Because yeah. it's like you haven't done it in a while, you know? True, that is true. Yeah. Why don't you guys hug and kiss as much anymore? <laughs> Um, we do hug and kiss every single day. Maybe we don't do it on camera as much anymore. Yeah. If that's what they're probably trying to say. I think that's what they're referring to, but yeah. honestly, we don't really be having the time to like hug up and kiss up like we used to. Like, we're parents now. We got two blockers, y'all. We're homeowners. Like, yeah, we got two blockers. <laughs> I'm happy that you mentioned that. We got two yeah. blockers, and then we just be busy throughout the day like we're always doing something we got a yeah. lot of responsibility i feel like now once we're in work mode we're kind of like in work mode and if it happens it happens naturally but like yeah. i mean we do kiss throughout the day yeah we do but, we but i'm saying like it. hugged up snuggled up like yeah we, we don't have, have time, time to do that anymore it's not just <laughs> us anymore we do do that when we have like a alone, alone time, alone time it's at more night. like at night once yeah. the boys are asleep that's when we get like more affection of course we like a little kiss here and there throughout the day but like it's different now. Well, I, I get, I, I could see why they ask that because yeah, life don't just really changes. Be like that on camera no more. Let me hug you. Uh, you guys that's what they want to see. Haven't seen us kiss in a while. Yes, we still love each other, you guys. Yes, still we hug do. and kiss. <laughs> life is just a little different now, but <laughs> who sets the stuff up when you guys do challenge videos? What they referring to like? Like I saw the comments, mystery drink the challenge. mystery drink challenge, or like maybe like the mystery prize one, the gifts and stuff like that. Oh, um, so you usually have your mom or. A family member yeah. come and set it up. They will purchase everything. Yeah, All we don't the items buy for the challenges, we make sure they purchase it so it could be fun. We don't and know what real. to expect or anything. It's real. When they're setting it up, they'll have us like go off into the room and then tell us when we could come out. And then, yeah. And then we don't see anything. So that is like a natural reaction. Because I feel like it would be so whack and boring if we knew the items. Yeah, and like, trash. how are we going to do that? We put it there. Like, that's trash. You, for those videos, you need someone to help you. Like, and if set you it up. really listen when you're watching those videos, you could hear them hear, laughing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you can hear them laughing in the background because they be right there. Yeah, like know? when we did the mystery drink video, my mom was literally dying yeah, laughing. She, dying. she almost beat herself. <laughs> you tried to violate me. <laughs> She know I hate nasty drinks. Yeah. She was like, she chose the worst stuff. Yeah, for that she video. chose the worst drinks for us to drink. But, but yeah, yeah, our family usually helps us out with videos like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you guys, that was all the questions for today's Q and A. You guys asked us some really good questions. Yeah, Thank you. And we're gonna do another one next month. So make sure you're following us on IG so that we could possibly answer your questions. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Turn on your post notifications. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Love you guys. Love y'all. Peace.